Hey guys, welcome back to 25 Sweepies. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this sea turtle nail art look. For the base, I'm going to be using a minty color polish and today I'm using the Heroines Empower Mint as my base color. As you can see here, if you're going to do art, sometimes you just need one coat. If you're going to wear it by itself, sometimes I would advise two. So it is really just up to whatever you want for this polish. Because I know I have not swatched this in a swatch video before, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you. It has an amazing formula. So now we're moving on to the art. For the art, I'm using all acrylic paint for the detailing, and I'm using various craft brushes and old nail art brushes that I have that have been like rubbed off the label so I don't actually know what they are. So first up I'm going in with a kind of a darker minty acrylic paint. I don't actually know what this one is called. I think it's actually called Ocean Breeze and it is by the brand Craftsmart from Michaels. And I am just kind of sketching in the shape for my turtles. Now if I were doing this on a darker base polish then I would probably need to go over the turtles first in white but since this is a light base color and I'm using a t kind of bold paint color I don't need to do that extra layer that extra step here so I'm just going in with the acrylic paint and I'm just kind of sketching on the best that I can for a sea turtle so basically you want most often <laughs> I started with the like shell and then I did the head and then the arms. So you kind of just have to figure out what works for you. And sometimes it depends on the angle that you are in and so on because it's kind of challenging sometimes. But other times it's not that bad once you get the hang of it and you figure out what works best for you. So for this, I usually do two to three on a nail. It just depends on the nail. So in this like blank space, I'm kind of just putting in like wavy lines to kind of give you like a wave motion that you would have in the ocean or with a current that a turtle might be swimming in. So yeah. <laughs> Now I'm going in with a actually like a Christmas tree green polish and I am outlining the turtle's body. So I am going to like cut, not cut off, that sounds really bad, but I am going to put the full shape of the shell on which will separate the head from the shell because that is how you would see a real turtle as would the arms be done in the same way. So that is what I am doing here. Now you can use the green on all of your turtles if you would like, but here I'm going to be showing you two different ways. So I've done the green, I have put in a few little eyes. You don't really have to worry about them super detailed eyes. You kind of just want some green blobs because from a distance no one's going to know a difference. Now you're just going to go in and put some lines on the shells. Of course you could actually like get super detailed here and do the details of the shell, but it's so small. So for the next one, I am actually doing a gold outlined turtle just to give some variation on the nails. And I feel like that kind of just really kind of completed the look. And it was personally like my favorite part of it because it'd give you a little sparkle in the design. So I'm doing the exact same things that I did with the green outline just with gold acrylic paint. And again, my acrylic paint that I am using is from Michaels and they do have a range of pretty decent metallic acrylic paints that work great for little details in nail art. So you might want to check that out if you're ever at Michaels <laughs> and you get the chance. So after that is done, you're going to put on your top coat and that is the full manicure. I'm going to pan over to the final design here in just a minute and as you can see, some nails have three, but most of them have two. It really just depends on your personal placement of where you want your turtles to be. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want more nail art tutorials and subscribe to stay up to date on all of the latest things. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!